Good morning, everybody. Going for uh, another eight mile hike today uh, out at the Lewis and Clark Trail in Weldon Spring, Missouri. And gonna try out some new gear. Um, got some some uh, thin, thin tights uh, to wear under my shorts. Temperature, according to the car, I think was 23. According to the garment is 21. So we'll see what, uh, how that goes. Uh, gonna start without the puffy coat. Gonna uh, leave my gloves and my hat and stuffed away until uh, I think I need them. So we'll go from there. And uh, packs up to about 18 pounds. Got a larger than regular fuel canister in there. A little extra, probably more food than I need in there. And uh, that includes water and everything else. Uh, still don't have my tent or my sleeping quilt. So those will add to it. But I think it'll probably even out. Still trying to keep it under 20 for the, for the duration of the trip. So we'll see how that goes. I'll talk to you later. Okay, everyone, we're uh, just passing the one mile mark. Um, went ahead and put the gloves and the hat on because it was uh, just a wee bit nippy. Legs feel good, not too uh, too chilly for the hat, so that works out well. And uh, just gonna keep on trucking along here and get to the next mile marker. Maybe stop at the overlook, open up a packet of. Uh, meat sticks that I got or meat pieces so uh, before they turn into iced meat pieces so also trying out uh, a couple things here got my new Garmin in reach mini and then uh, also got uh, a Garmin Phoenix which uh, I'm interested to see how that's gonna, gonna work out so I'll be back so just a little scenery here going over the uh, Missouri River. A little trail down to the Katy Trail down there. But uh, not a bad day for a hike. It's a little overlook position here. Some seats and stuff. People uh, obviously walk down to the Katy Trail down there. Katy Trail goes across the state of Missouri from one side to the other. Former uh, Kansas Texas Railroad. So, talk to you guys later. So, it's not, uh, I don't think it's quite Roxylvania, but it's definitely uh, one of the more rockier sections of the trail. But at least this one doesn't have a whole lot of spots to twist your ankle, I guess. So we'll make our way up and see what uh, what comes next. Just taking a little break, sitting on a log, getting a drink. I think the temperature's rising a bit. Boy, that, uh, that lighting doesn't work, does it? There we go. I don't know why that's there. That's something I'll work on. Let's try these uh, beef bites. Will do. I'm gonna take my puffy coat out, put it in the back in the backpack. I don't think I'm going to be needing it today. A couple more snacks. A drink or two. Be on my way. Alright, so I made it to mile marker two. And uh, this is going to be a real mess when it thaws. There's a lot of these patches that would normally be muddy and wet. But luckily it's cold enough that it's all frozen so I don't have to get wet and uh, certainly that's definitely a plus and here we go so here's another overlook 
kind of a cool spot. See if I can keep from dropping the phone all the way down here. Missouri River. Maybe I just pedal right up and head out to the PCT. But uh, for now, let's just finish today. So we gotta come down into this valley here and get to the, the creek bottom down here. Looks like there's a decent amount of water in it. Nice and crystal clear. And just over to that side, you can barely see the Missouri River. So we'll keep on making our way down the hill here. The ground is starting to thaw a little bit. Some spots that look like there's a little bit of mud, but at least we don't have to deal with too much uh, sloppiness. Someone informed me that I say so too much when I make these videos. And I'm gonna try and work on that a little bit more to uh, clean it up a little bit, work on my public speaking skills, if you want. There's a better view of the creek. And up here, we have a creek crossing. Should be a piece of cake today. Since I mentioned my use of the word so, any constructive criticism is very welcome. So, <laughs> there we go. I'm sure the local kids have something to say about this. There's some symbolism behind it. Looks like a lot of uh, so-and-so and so-and-so. It's a lot of so's. Maybe in the future, maybe I'll uh, add one to it. And we should be coming up on the T to make the turn to decide between whether we're doing five miles or eight miles. Come on, Charlie. Charlie? Hi. Hi. I'd have brought Zeus out, but Zeus would die about after the first mile. We can't get him to tire out. How old is he? About to be two. So I ran into a couple runners and their dog Charlie, and uh, we'll. Um, I probably won't put that on video. I got Charlie a little bit. Maybe I'll I'll try and edit that and put him on there. But go ahead and hang a right down the path here and keep on going. So the temperature dropped a little bit. Sun went behind the clouds a little and it dropped in this valley. So I ended up having to put the hat back on. And I uh, made the discovery that if I put my raisinets on the outside of my backpack in cold weather, they're kind of hard. So note to self. Keep them in a war warmer location. All right. Talk to you guys later.
So we should be getting close to uh, the six mile mark up here. But uh, there's only a couple more to go. I think somebody said it's actually 8.3. But shouldn't be too many more, too many more valleys up and down. There might be one more after this, but I suppose we'll see. So we're getting a little closer. Just now coming up on the split between the Lewis and Clark trails. So from here on out, we'll be on both. As you can see, right there. Alrighty, here we go. Interesting situation here. Think that vine's holding up that tree? I'm gonna take my chances. Should have less than, or right about a mile to go. Looks like we probably got at least one more valley to head up. And we should get to the end. Well, this should be the uh, last mile marker. Should be, should say mile eight. Close enough, right? So uh, only about uh, 0.3 left and we'll call it a day here we are at the trailhead and that is going to be it for today i'll do a summary kind of play around with some editing and see how that plays out but uh all done <laughs>